We have five of Raphael here. I'm going to get into it, but I am Michelle. This is Angel Souls. If you want to get a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. This is very interesting. You should definitely watch this with the weekly. The weekly explains a little bit more. Okay. So this says everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Here is what's so interesting about this because like, I almost wonder if you guys don't get some information this week where it's like, well, this person says this and then this person says that. Like, what do I believe? What is true? Who should I, who should I trust, right? I just heard trust will be broken. Trust will be broken. Now, this doesn't have to be a horrible, horrible thing. You could have a friend that you've always kind of like maybe made excuses for. And then you realize, you know what, I'm just fed up and I'm tired of making excuses. I'm not, this person's not a friend. Or if you thought there's somebody that you're working with or even dating or you're kind of dating and you finally wake up and you realize I've just been overlooking their red flag behavior. Somebody who can't, oh, I just got to, that's the second one today in recording. Uh, if you're like, what the heck going on? Um, if you're clear audience or you're just like, I don't know, like you're half frequency, you're a half frequency person. That sounds so dumb. I'm sorry. Um, but if, if you are psychic or spiritual or whatever, and you practice that, you will get downloads. And a lot of times it will ping in your ear. Now I've heard lots of people have a take on this. They're like the right ear means this, the left ear means that you believe whatever the heck you want. I think it's very individual. I think it's very indi individual. So for me, um, it, it's sort of like when it's in the right ear, it, it's like, pay attention to this. This is really trying to get my attention. Whereas when it happens in my left ear, it's more of the emotional self. It's like a settled feeling. This is more like the intellectual side. Now that's not for everybody. You might be like, that's not how I experience it. Let's not gaslight each other as <laughs> spiritual practitioners or spiritual people. Just because you don't experience it that way doesn't make it bad. And, you know, same going to you. I'm not going to judge you if you have it opposite or whatever. You know, it's just how it comes through you. Um, so that just happened. <laughs> Something is um, like a wrecking ball just coming through. And so I just get the feeling of some of you looking at somebody and just be like, you know, good. Ugh, how dare you? But. The nice thing is, the nice thing is with this card is that when other people or other things are brought up to the surface, it's exposed. What's left standing would be your true friends or people who really do care about you, your actual allies. And when I say allies, I'm not talking about people who just agree with you or they have your similar personality and so they just, they think you're the greatest because they think they're the greatest, <laughs> like whatever. I'm not talking about that. We're talking about somebody who actually could be quite the opposite of you standing up and helping to balance you out, but also standing up and uh, nurturing this other perspective, right? So if somebody does hurt you, you might find that this person's a little protective of you and it could be unexpected. Or if somebody's really awful to you and you think, gosh, there went my whole friend group. Well, guess what? You start meeting new people who are exciting and funny and, you know, warm and kind. And they genuinely take an interest in you. Here's a big, because friendship keeps coming up here. So I think that's, and that makes sense. I think that's what a lot of people are going to be dealing with. Because when we change our frequency, we're not going to be a frequency match for everybody anymore. That's just how it goes. So some of you, I, I would just put it out there. Somebody who does not stop talking about themselves is not a friend, is not a friend. If people have not, if they've been around you for months and months and they have not once asked you anything about your life, they don't know your story. That's not a friend. I actually just went somewhere and I've, there's somebody there that I have met, I think twice in my life, maybe twice in my life for just brief little moments. And this was the third twice before. So this was the third time that I was seeing this person. And this person turned in their seat and they said, well, tell me about you. Tell me your story. What's your story? 
where, where, did, where were you living before? You know, and they were so genuine and genuinely engaged and listening and taking an interest. Now that's a potential friendship. People who ask you how you are because that's just what you're supposed to do, but they don't listen to actually how you are. That's not a friend. These are the kinds of things I think you're going to be realizing, especially today, but treat this as an overall kind of energy for days to come. All right. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.